Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing some outdoor cooking on the Blackstone Griddle, and I'll be making shrimp fried rice right after this. So before we get started, let me show you all the ingredients I'll be using for the shrimp fried rice recipe. Also, the ingredients will be listed in the description down below this video. All right, so I'm going into a pot with some rice that I rinsed. All right, so I rinsed the rice off just to get a lot of the starch off of the rice. All right. So basically, I'm doing one part rice, two parts water. And now I'm going onto the stove. Rice, I always put a little splash of oil. That just keeps it kind of separated uh, after it cooks so it's not too sticky. Also, you want to try to make your rice a day ahead. Um, I'm making mine earlier in the day, and I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for probably about 12 hours. Yeah, so by cooking your rice ahead of time, like a day ahead of time, that's a way of keeping your shrimp fried rice from being mushy. Um, that's something that I've learned by doing research, and um, it seems to work. All right, so right here I'm removing the rice from the um, pot, and I'm just going into a dish so I can put it into the refrigerator and let it cool. Also, you can use any, I'm using long grain rice. You can use any type of rice that you want to use, jasmine, basmati, you know, long grain, short grain. And also, you can make your rice however you make your rice. But the main thing is to cook it ahead of time and then get it into that refrigerator for at least 12 hours. So right here, I'm, I'm seasoning my shrimp. Just went down with some uh, Goya adobo. Just went down with some soy sauce. And right here, I'm doing some ground ginger. Also, I just threw some uh, minced garlic in there. So I'm giving that a good mix. And now on my Blackstone griddle, I got that nice and hot. I'm going down with my shrimp and I'm just gonna give them a nice, you know, searing, get them pretty much partially cooked. Um, I'm not gonna cook everything all at once um, it, cause this grill can't handle it. But if you have a bigger Blackstone or like a, a, a camp chef or something like that, it should be able to handle it. But once I do all this shrimp on the, gr on the griddle, it cooled it down some. So I'm gonna cook the shrimp remove it let the grill come back up to temperature and then i'm gonna finish making the recipe So I removed all my shrimp, and I'm gonna let the griddle come back, to, get back up the temperature. All right, so the griddle's back up the temperature. Now I'm gonna scramble some eggs. So my eggs are done, so I'm not on to the next step. All right, so for the next step, I'm going down with some vegetables. Uh, right there, I just went down with some diced onions. Now I'm going down with some sliced baby bella mushrooms, some broccoli, some peas and carrots, and some bean sprouts. And you can put, obviously, you can put whatever, you know, vegetables that you want to put in your shrimp fried rice. And these are the ones I chose to put. I love bean sprouts, and I try to keep it a little bit traditional. So that's why I do the peas and carrots, the bean sprouts, the uh, mushroom. But um, these are all things that I like in my shrimp fried rice anyway. So now I got all my vegetables nice and sauteed. I'm going in with my rice. So I made a little bit too much rice, so I'm not going to use it all. I didn't want to overcrowd the grill. All right. So um, yeah, just take that into consideration when you're making your recipe.
All right, so now I'm going in with some soy sauce. All right, here I am going in with some oyster sauce. And so now I'm going to get everything a mix. And I'm going to mix everything up until everything is, until the rice is nice and coated. And there's no more white rice left. Everything pretty much has taken on the color of the soy and the um, oyster sauce. So right here, I'm going in with some uh, sesame oil. That's going to give it, you know, a little bit more authentic shrimp fried rice flavor. Right here, I just went in with some scallions. And now I'm going in with some uh, ground ginger. And now I'm going to make sure those ingredients are thoroughly mixed into the rice. Alright, so now I'm going to mix in my eggs. And now I'm going in with the star of the show, the shrimp that I cooked earlier. So I'm going to give that a nice thorough mix. At this point, the shrimp fried rice is done. Not much more I can add to it to make it any better. But I am going to add some more scallions. But I just want to thank you for checking out another video. Um, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Also, you can check me out on social media, Cooking and Grilling with Carl on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah, you can also give this video a thumbs up and show your support by sharing the video. And on Facebook, you can join my cooking group at Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And on that note, I say God bless. I'll catch you on the next video. Go forth in victory. Peace.